Hello, and welcome to another Game Preacher video. In light of the news that Chris Evans will be taking over as the main host of the ever-popular show Top Gear, I thought we'd enter into a little Forza 5 Top Gear challenge. As most people know, Top Gear runs an event on the show each week called Star in a Reasonably Priced Car. American actor Matt LeBlanc currently holds the fastest time of 1 minute 42.1 in a Kia Seed. So I thought I'd try and beat it. I get four laps, including the static star lap. Then, no matter whether we beat it or not, I will attempt to beat the fastest time around the track in any legal road car, which technically is 1 minute 15.1 in the Aerial Atom V8. Even though it looks like a race car, it has two seats, but only enough storage for some nail clippers. I've given myself five laps in this one because it handles like a bitch and only wants to go sideways. Wish me luck, I think I'm going to need it. Right, we are set up and ready to go for our Top Gear 4 a 5 challenge in our Kia seat. Wow. Cool. Sort of. It's not the best car to take around the racing track. But never mind. That's the challenge. And if Matt LeBlanc can do it, so can I. That's through the Karuna curves. This first bend, if anybody wants to know the names of the corners, that's Wilson. Hello, Wilson. This one is called Chicago. Which is slightly ironic, really, because uh, the other game that I'm actually playing and doing videos of at the moment is called Hitman Absolution, which is set in Chicago. Well, this is Hammerhead, and this is not very nice, because you come in and you swing to the left, and then it turns very nastily to the right. It's not the end of the world in this car, but in a faster car. Jesus, it's a bastard. It really is. This is called the follow-through. Uh, I'm wondering whether it's called the follow-through because you don't break and you just keep flat out. And maybe you follow through in your pants. That one's called Bentley, which... <laughs> I'm hoping is not because they crashed a Bentley, but this one is called Bacharach. And the only reason I can think of that is that Bert Bacharach came round the track in it. This last one is called Gambon, for a very cool reason, because Michael Gambon, the actor, came round it on two wheels, and they thought, oh fuck me, we've got to call it the Gambon Corner. So this is our first full speed lap through the Karuna Curve and this is very tight it just comes back on you this corner if you do not come in tight there you're off on that grass and you just lose all your bloody speed and it's horrible and this one just drifts away from you it's, it's tough it's very very tough Right, okay, so, 142.1, it is going to be hard, but we'll give it a go. Oh, you see, shit, that's not nice. Come on, come on, come on, accelerate, you fucker. Come on, you can do it. It seems... A bit silly, really, doing this challenge because you got to think, well, I just can't go that fast. But but that's the kind of point. It's everybody's in this car, and it's not about the speed. It's about getting the most out of the car on this track, which isn't easy. Come on, come on, stay on the track, you bastard! Come on, stay on the track, stay on the track. Forty-two, come on! <laughs> right, we are one point one away. Not bad, but not good enough. I'm going to find out which bends I'm just not getting the most out of. Stay on the bloody track. I think I lost. 
lost a bit of time on this one here. Come on, baby! Come on! Faster, faster, faster! 0.6 of a second up. Right, now, I'm hoping that's on the fastest lap, obviously, which is the one I've just done, so... Right. You just keep thinking, oh, well, it's got to go faster. Oh, I would love to do this for real. This would just be awesome. Get a phone call to uh, Chris Evans. This is a this is a really hard bend, that one, because it's blind. You just can't really see it. Have I done, have I done it? Yeah! <laughs> Come on, baby! <laughs> 141.9. Eat your heart out, Mr. Butler Blonky Blonk Blonk Man. Let's see if we can beat it again on the final lap. Stay on the track. At least stay on the chuffed track. Tell you what, that was that, it is tough. It is. That I think I've just done. I wouldn't say the perfect lap, but ooh, that's not too hot. Come on. Am I up or am I down? I think I'm down. I think I'm down on where I was. Oh shit! One point two down. You see, and you, you can't really take too much of a gamble yet. But that felt better. That that corner, yeah, that's the best I've done that bend. Unfortunately, I did the one before shit, so it's not going to make any difference. So I've pulled a bit of the time back, but... Oh. Would have been nice to get faster and faster. But at the end of the day, the challenge was to beat 142.1. And I've done 141.9. Oh, 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 fuck me. Ah, we're off. Ah, shitbag bollocks. <laughs> That's the technical term for I, I fucked up my line. And into the bend. And we've done 143.7. So there we go. Well good in one way same I couldn't uh, make it faster on the last lap but there we go so we will bin that now and move on to the next challenge I will go straight on here <laughs> see you in the aerial atom welcome back to the second part of this challenge uh, we are in the astoundingly gorgeous aerial atom V8 our target time is 1 minute 15.1 which is okay, but that's not the problem. The problem is keeping this bastard car on the track because it doesn't really want to stay on the track. Oh, dear me. So, I have given myself five laps, an extra lap to learn Flying shit about the stupid exclamation mark in the top right hand corner because believe you me, getting this car around the track, any track, would be fine. Um, I would, uh, I wouldn't mind the challenge of actually having a go at this thing because this thing is. And you can see, is slightly different to our Kia Seed. At this point, I'm about 9, 10 seconds ahead of where I need, uh, where, where I need to be, where I was in the Kia. So you can see that it's just... Ooh, oh, 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 
<laughs> you bastard. I don't think this bend's going to be fun. It's really going to be hard to keep this. Well, get thing on that track. Right. Okay. So, we've got to take 10 seconds off that time. And also, keep the car on the track. Seriously, I mean, I'm going to give it my best shot here. I'm not sure that both parts of this challenge are going to happen. But we did the first one. That's the most important thing. <laughs> I am faster than the star in a reasonably priced car. Yeah, baby. Oh. See, you've got to be so, so bloody careful on the throttle. God, I wish I had a steering wheel to do this in. Uh, uh, oh my god! Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One second away! One second! I've got to find one second. Oh, I'm not going to find it like that, am I? Oh, that's all gone. <laughs> you bastard! The problem is, if it starts to go and it starts to spin, you have just... You've got to be so, so bloody gentle on the throttle or it just spins you. Come on, it comes. Come on! Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, I know I'm five seconds down, you bastard. <laughs> if you break that... Sometimes when you're doing this, you forget to talk because you're just concentrating so much on keeping this thing in a straight line. If, if you could see how many times the triggers and the sticks on the uh, on the Xbox One controller are moving, it's it's just horrendous because you're just going constantly. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on! Right here we go. Now. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that was a shame. So, first bend here, right? You've actually got to brake because, the, you know, in, in the lovely little, uh, bless it, uh, Kia, right? There was no need to brake. Go and hit the tires, you bastard. Come on. I think this is all going to go with me wrong! Oh, you pig shit! But now I've spun the fucking thing. I can't get it in a straight line. Come on. Come on, Anna. Easy, easy. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, that's, that's fucked up. That's totally fucked up. Yeah. I think if I was driving this thing, that bend which is called the follow through, I would think you would follow through. See, every time you slide, you're losing time. Right. Easy does it. Yeah. Right. Last lap. Deep breath. Try and get your line right. No pressure. I'm <laughs> exactly where I need to be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't slide! Oh, 
Oh, come on, no, no, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, yeah, fucking... Uh, I'm losing time because I'm sliding. Oh, I lost control of me car! Oh, yeah, fucking load of shit. Ah, oh, God. Shall I have one more lap? I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, let's cheat my own challenge and have one more lap. And see whether we can do it. Where I lost it was all that time that I lost going through the follow through and the Bentley. I'm now a second down. Seriously, if anybody's played this game, right, have a go in this car, because it is so hard. Ah, fuck it. Look at that. What a load of shit. Well, I failed. Uh, I think the reality is, of the situation, that I failed my challenge, and, well, what can I say? I'm very disappointed. I hope you've enjoyed watching my attempt to uh, fuck it up. I gave it my best shot, and the reality is, of life, sometimes you fail. But never mind. Thanks very much for watching another Game Preacher video. Next time, if I set myself a two-part challenge, I will try and do both parts. Oh, ho, 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 dearie me. Thank you very much, Game Preacher out. I'm off to hospital. Bye for now.